Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks. Um, we're gonna do another uh, player profile today. Um, I'm at work right now, but I got some time. So if you didn't know, I'm a teacher, so I'm here in the classroom uh, getting ready to let the kids in in about 25 minutes. So I just thought I'd do this video real quick uh, before that. So uh, today I wanted to focus on a former Giants player, but not a San Francisco Giant, a well, a New York Giant, but baseball when they're back in New York. So I wanted to focus on Bill Terry today, also known as Memphis Bill. You know, a lot of people talk about the New York Giants baseball. This whole video is on baseball, so I'm not going to keep saying baseball, but we know the New York Giants before they're in San Francisco. Lots of uh, the main names that I know I hear all the time is Mel Ott, Christy Matthewson, Carl Hubble, even John McGraw, the manager. But also Bobby Thompson, obviously, because the shot heard around the world which he is the one who hit it. So Bobby Thompson, even Willie Mays, obviously he started with the New York Giants, but I mean, I would look at him more with the San Francisco Giants, but either way, those are kind of the names. Um, and I'm sure I'm not saying people don't say I'm Bill I mean, Bill Terry's numbers retired by the Giants is number three, which was uh, retired in 1984. So, um, you know, but like I said, those are the names that I usually would hear more. I haven't, I don't hear Bill Terry as much. So I wanted to just bring him up and just talk about him a little bit. Uh, first of all, he's the last National League player to hit uh, 400 in a season. He hit 401 in 1930, uh, which was for the batting title that year. Um, and he's the second to last player to do it. Obviously, Ted Williams did it. He's the last player in general to do it, Ted Williams. Um, but that was in the American League. And then before him, Bill Terry did it. <coughs> so, Bill Terry's the last player, second last player overall to hit um, for 400 in a season. And the last National League player to hit 400 in the season, like I said, in 1930. So, obviously, that's, uh, you know, something as a Giants fan that we can, you know, kind of brag. I think a lot of us don't know that, you know. I didn't, I didn't, I was reading a book because I was going to do one of these player profiles on the uh, Niners, either John Brody or Wyatt Tittle, I was thinking, or maybe some other people. But um, I'm reading, oh, did I bring the book? Oh, I did bring it. So yeah, I was reading this uh, last night before I went to bed, and the uh, part I had read was, I'm not going to read it word by word, but um, it was about uh, Bill Terry. Where'd it go? So, yeah, so that's when I read, when I was reading it, it said that he was the last player to hit 400 in the National League, and that's when I said, oh, let me, you know, let me do a video about Bill Terry, because I didn't even realize that that was the case. So... And also something else he did um, was called the Terry Tour, which was uh, the Giants and Indians would do barnstorming uh, like games where I guess like during spring training, they would go around to places that really didn't have baseball, like in the that's the, uh, in like the Midwest, uh, the South, the Southwest. And they would basically just play games to show up and play games against each other for just people in the area just to see, you know, get who usually don't get a chance to see major league baseball players. So Bill Terry was uh, had was one of the starters or the starter of the barnstorming for the Giants and the Indians. So they would consistently just do that and play each other. So um, I was reading that and I said, you know what, let me do this video. So uh, Bill Terry played uh, 14 years in the major leagues, all with the New York Giants from 1923 to 1936. Uh, first baseman, nicknamed Memphis Bill. Three-time All-Star, voted in the Hall of Fame in 1954. Like I said, his number three was retired in 1984. Uh, wait, that's, the Hall of Fame was 1954, so I wanna make sure I, I don't know if I said 84 there, but that was 54, number retired by the Giants in 1984. Um, so he was a, a one one World Series in 1933. Uh, like I said, so in 1930, he hit 401. Like I said, second last player to do it, last player in the National League to do it. And he also led the league with hits, with uh, 254 hits. A couple other accolades of his, you know, he led the league in triples in 1931 with 20. He uh, led the league in that same year as well, 1931. He uh, led the league in runs as well with 121. So he had about 100, uh, it was 154 yes, home runs. He had 100, 154 home runs in his career. So it wasn't a huge home run hitter. But he did end his career with a 341 batting average, which is really great. So, like I said, he was more of a doubles, triples. You know, he hit for average. You know, hit for average, hit doubles, hit triples. Wasn't a huge home run hitter, <coughs> which, you think about the polo grounds. 
left field, right field was on the corners was like 200 something feet. And then if you go up to center field, you're almost at 500 feet. So huge alleys. So you're gonna hit a lot of doubles, a lot of triples. So it shows me he probably didn't pull the ball a lot because if he pulled the ball a lot like Melot, he would have had a lot of home runs. So he's probably using, from what I would just assume is that he was using the middle of the field a lot more and that's where he's getting a lot of his triples and doubles. So, and that high batting average. So, hey, what's up? So I, uh, <clears throat> someone needed me and then I had to go downstairs. So now I'm in my prep period, which is second period. So continuing from where I was earlier, um, and the last thing I was talking about was him, from what I would assume, using probably more of the middle of the field, considering he didn't hit a lot of home runs, but had a high average at the polo grounds. So um, besides that, um, I know, unless this has happened since 2014, he is the only Giants player to hit two triples and two doubles in one game, unless from 2014 on it's happened. I don't think it's happened. I might be mistaken, but I do know... He was the only player in Giants history to do that, like I said, unless it's happened the last 2014, seven, eight years. So either way, even if it did happen again, he's one or two or whatever. But from what I know, as long as it hasn't happened since then, he's the only one who's done that in Giants history. So um, another thing, in June of 1932, he became a player manager. So um, uh, John McGraw, I guess, was out. Something happened. I don't know exactly why, but the famous manager, John McGraw, was done. He took over and became a player manager. So he was playing and managing at the same time. And a funny story of his playing managing days is um, Travis Jackson, who was uh, a third baseman, uh, Hall of Famer as well. He was hitting, and I guess he was struggling, and it was, uh, I guess, the ninth inning. It was, near the end of, it was the end of the game. So um, I don't know the exact score. I can't, uh, I don't know that part, but I do know he was struggling. So a couple pitches into that bat, Terry, who, like I said, was a player manager at the time, was first was at first base coaching. And Andrew Jackson, uh, I guess he, Bill Terry stopped the game, or, you know, called timeout, went over to Andrew Jackson and said, hey, basically said, you know, hey, do you, uh, <laughs> do you want me to come in for you right now? Like, you're struggling. Do you want me to come in for you? Andrew Jackson said, are you sure? And he said, yeah, Bill Terry came in, first pitch he saw, looking fastball, got a uh, game winning hit. So pretty uh, unique, uh, just a little story about him that, you know, when he was a player manager, end of the game, he's been coaching that day. <clears throat> came in for Travis Jackson and hit and gets a game winning hit on the first pitch. So it kind of just shows the kind of hitter he was. You know, what I mean, hitting 350, 341 in your career alone kind of tells you what kind of hitter he was. So, uh, so yeah, so he played until 1936. So from June of 1932 through the end of his career, 1936, he was the uh, player manager of the Giants. And then after that, until 1941, he was uh, the manager for the Giants, strictly just a manager. Um, and uh, in 1933, so his first full year as a manager, a player manager, either way, he actually led them to the World Series to a victory. They won the 1933 World Series. He also led them to a World Series in 1936, which they lost to the Yankees. So he had a, uh, you know, he got to go to two World Series as a manager, leading the way. And like I said, that first one was as a player manager. So not only was he a manager, but he was also playing. So uh, that's really it I really got for Bill Terry. I mean, I know this, you can go on and on, but I just wanted to kind of bring light to one of the, you know, guys, big players of Giants history in the beginning of their, you know, history back when they were in New York, you know, he hit, he played a lot of years with Melot, so they were, you know, and um, they were going back to back. And the other thing is, uh, if you know about baseball jerseys back in those days, the numbers that the players wore was their batting order, the order that they batted. So um, Bill Terry was number three, Melot was number four. So I'm think I'm assuming... Bill Terry was that three hitter, you know, with the average. You have Melot hitting bombs, batting fourth. So that's a pretty, you know, scary duo to go back to back against. You know, two lefties, they both hit lefties. So probably hope you have a lefty in that day, you know, when you're uh, setting your lineup up. But, yes, yeah, so I was just about Bill Terry, a little stuff that I just wanted to drop today. Uh, I just wanted to record real quick while I'm here at work. But, um, yeah, so beside that, I want to keep dropping some of these player profiles. I'm actually going to the A's Angels game tonight in Anaheim, today and tomorrow. Today's Friday, the uh, 17th, September. So looking forward to that. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, beside that, I mean, the race is coming down to it. Giants, one game up on the Dodgers. So that's a close race. A's need to win out, win out a lot of these games in order to, uh, you know, even get that second spot in the wild cards. Hopefully that happens. But 
yeah, I'm going to come with some more history, some old players. I want to get into the ace history a little more. But, yeah, so, with, like I said, Bill Terry, Hall of Fame first baseman, last National League player to hit 400 in a season, and the second last player in the whole major leagues to do that. So, uh, you know, San Francisco Giants legend, Giants franchise legend, New York Giants uh, legend. So, that's it for today. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you are subscribed, thank you for watching and checking me out. And I'll see all you guys later. Have a good weekend, everyone. Adios.